hey guys good morning we are starting our day off at Costco it just opened so we are headed to Costco to get a couple of things we're gonna try and be in and out I don't know if they have swimming stuff here but Autumn starts swim classes this week Wait, this week yeah on Wednesday so we need diapers and wipes I'm hoping last pack of diapers but we'll see and then I think Walmart is after this I don't know how we always end up with more. No, don't open that, baby. It doesn't open. Uh, I don't know how we always end up with more than we actually need. Like, Everly needed some short sleeve shirts. So we got that. I got one pack for Autumn. Baby, it doesn't open. You got to leave it like that, okay? We're getting some more cameras. Uh-huh. My frittatas. My favorite. The fish is on sale. But then, boom. We have a whole other cart. <laughs> A whole other cart. Yeah, everyone likes that fish. So, just things that were on sale that we'll use. So yeah, that's what we got. Official hello, hi. Um, we're looking the same that we always look every single day. Uh, we came home, went to Costco. I'll probably do a quick, you guys pretty much saw what all we got, but I'll probably do a quick haul here. It was expensive because we got the Google cameras, but it wasn't a lot if that makes sense so nothing like individual haul worthy we came home so the girls could get potty break snap break what what the camera i know <laughs> so yeah potty snack break um you need to go potty rotate the dogs to go potty and get some exercise um, I get questions what we do with them when we're not home. They get kenneled because they are big puppies and they don't know how to act quite yet. So we kennel train. I know that's not for everybody, but that's what we do. And it works well for us. Um, and then right now, because Bailey is still on it, we um, are still keeping them separate. So we're rotating them to play and to walk and to go potty and eat and all those good things. So... I'm gonna take a quick break and then go back out. We still need to go to Walmart. And I think we're gonna go to the Croc store. And I'm still with the Croc store, yes. I'm still with this pimple on my face. So I had no desire to do anything with myself today. Hair's looking a little bit rough. I did get headbands, you guys are so sweet. I got messages in my last vlog that I needed to order headbands. I will link these down below. They were actually very inexpensive and pretty good quality. They're not headbands, just basic colors, but it came with like 20 of them. I think it was 20 bucks, maybe a little bit under $18.99. Super, super cute. Love it, like every color of the rainbow you could think of. So I'll link them below in case you like headbands. They just jazz up dirty hair. What did you eat? What? I gave her a cookie? Oh, a popcorn. Yeah. Mom, I gave her one of my Cheeto balls. Too. Oh, it sounds like you're getting snacks from everyone, huh? You eat it. <laughs> You've never been on an escalator before, huh? The elevator is not working. Yay! You did it! <laughs> That is where we are headed. We do not come to the mall <laughs> for <laughs> anything, hardly ever. Autumn didn't even remember what this was called. It's like it's a mall, but we're gonna look with our eyes, not with our hands. There we go. Look, there's glitter ones. I know. That is, <laughs> she said, look, this is your size, mommy. A men's 11. Thanks, Autumn. Appreciate it. Yeah. Emmy likes those. Oh, I wish I could get that glitter. I wish they had that yeah. pink for adults. There's like enough space in the bag so my people will actually grow into You like this one? Yeah. Out of all the colors, you like this color. Yep. Yeah. That's an 11. They Try it on. Ones. They had bigger ones that showed up. What size is this? I don't know. That one's a two. Try a three. Okay. And yours is an eight? That's the one that's you. Okay. That's a two. No, yours is an 11. I think you need a 12. Okay. Girls needed to burn off some steam, so we're having lunch. Is that good? A 
toy, I know. We're playing at the playground. It's a joker. And I got a joker too. Having corn dog? Right there, right there. Corn. Say corn dog. Corn dog. Okay, there you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good? <laughs> Emmy, are you with her? She's with you? Open. There's a bee you pray over there. Okay, sit down here and then I'm gonna come back. Ah! Ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. I think there's a bee at the bottom of the slide. Nothing about this angle looks any better than it did before. I actually wanted to dye my hair tonight, but we haven't made it to Walmart. We came back home and everybody laid down. I think even I ended up napping for like 45 minutes or an hour, which is going to suck the night away for me because anytime I nap during the day, I hardly ever sleep well at night. So it is what it is, but I'm editing actually very special vlogs. Don't mind my didn't work out well. <laughs> I uh, don't mind my unmade bed. It's never made. It's never a priority for me. But um, I'm editing footage from the girls. So over the years, I keep snippets. The last probably like year, year and a half, it's been mostly of me. I show the girls here and there. You know, like, I talk about them a lot, but the vlog really has turned into me and my life, and I show the girls more occasionally. They're all in school now, and they've never, not once, asked for privacy. In fact, they bug me all the time to film. Take your camera! Mommy, can I have this? Can I, just like earlier when they were playing at the playground, I mean, was like, can I go film? I think she's starting to get to that point where she's like, I'll watch Everly, you know, I'll make sure she goes down the slide fine without actually playing, playing on the playground, which is fine. She's going to be 13 this year. I mean, you know, can you blame her? Uh, depending on the situation we're in, she still likes to play. So she wants to film, you know, like those things are fun for them. They love being on camera. They're all total hams. And so I don't mind filming, uh, filming them and sharing them with you guys. I, that doesn't bother me at all. But I just, I, I don't know. I just was so busy with school, transitioning to getting my clinical hours full time and then studying and trying to find a job and now having a full time job. It's just the priorities have kind of switched up with filming and things like that. So over the years, I started when Emmy was small, I would keep little clips that I would put in the vlogs, probably since I mostly since I started daily vlogging, but I would keep little 
clips of things that I would put in the vlogs for you guys. I don't save all of my vlog footage, especially footage like this where I'm just talking. I don't need to see in 50 years me talking to the camera for 12 minutes at a time. So I don't keep everything. I have it all on my YouTube, of course. I could pull the footage if I needed to. I just keep special things. I keep special vlogs, of course, all our holiday vlogs, all of our birthday parties and special day vlogs and things like that. I keep the entire vlog. But again, throughout the years, I've kept little snippets of the girls doing certain things that I've shared with you guys. And every year uh, on their birthdays, I try and compile it into a video and I save it. And of course, Everly's is the longest because she has an entire two years of footage here but I only did her first year of footage and it's just little clips of me like getting her in the morning or her you know I had her clip of uh, rolling over or when we're feeding her little cute things like that and it's 53 minutes long so all these things my iMovie has been acting up big time over the last couple of weeks it's been triggering my computer to shut down I don't know if it got a virus or if I had footage that wasn't working, I had a vlog that I uploaded two days ago for you guys that I had to take an entire clip of I don't even know what I was talking about out of it because it would not, it just would not export. I kept trying and trying for like two days to export it. It kept timing out at this certain minute. I kept trying to trim it down and it was not working so the entire clip had to go and it was like three minutes of just like I said me talking about Vera I don't even know what because it was from January and I had to cut it out because it would every time I would click on it the little ball of death would time out and it would trigger iMovie to randomly shut down and so I was like you know what I'm just going to completely wipe iMovie of all the footage that it has on it and start over fresh. Uninstall, reinstall it, and just in case the computer's, you know, giving me a hard time because of that. So that's what I did. I had a bunch of footage that I had not taken the time to condense down into the edited movie version of it for the girls and so I did everybody's. I just finished Everly's today. I still have one for her to do and I have one video of a random stock video but it's old it's from like last summer or the end of last summer <laughs> all of my the old cabinets and everything I don't know if the no not the old flooring but the old cabinets are in it so you can tell it's an old video but it's still relevant right so I'm thinking about just editing it and uploading it you guys really enjoy those so if you saw an old video on my H Kitty 1122 channel that's what it was um, just something that I had here because I'm trying to wipe it clean so what I do is I compile all the footage into a project like this is titled Everly 12420 because it's up through her first birthday and it's all the clips from her first year of life I even have a few of like my belly my bump her kicking and stuff like that and all the girls first videos were big because I had a lot of footage and then after that they just got smaller like Emmys yesterday they had she had filmed a science experiment and I never I wanted to upload it and I never did and it was from right when we first started quarantine and it's so crazy to see how much has changed in two years but I, I never uploaded it and she just is like so mature in comparison to that video it's crazy so I edited that down and I, that's what I've been doing the last few days so that I can just get it all off of iMovie get it into my hard drive I keep all those things in a few different places so I don't lose them but I just think home videos like this like little snippets is so cool for the girls to have and I have of course each of their videos has another girl or two or all of them in it or it'll have like Everly's has uh, Mila in it a little bit you know um, I think Emmy or Maddie had when we first got the dogs so just little things like that I would I would love to go back and do a compila compilation of the animals that would be kind of cool to have them from babies until as they were older but just little things like that so something for them to have when they get older from their childhood other than the thousands and thousands and thousands of pictures that I have of them and of course I have little clippets and videos and stuff on my phone as well that I don't include in this this is just vlog footage in addition to all the video that I take on my phone which is so special I don't know I guess it's just unique because not many people vlog their kids and their childhoods and things like that and so 
yeah, that's what I've been doing. But I did fall asleep for a little while. Everly's still napping. And the desk is downstairs. The uh, three bigger girls, I don't know, they're roaming around. I think Maddie's painting her nails. Who knows? We still needed to go to Walmart because unless Andres goes Wednesday, I need a bra. And we were at, <laughs> I really need to stop buying bras from Walmart. But I actually found a t-shirt bra that I really like. It's 12 bucks. I don't know how long it's going to hold up, but it fits nicely. I've been able to buy a 42C, which fits great because before I'd bought a 42 D and the cup I had like a little spillage here like you can even see this is me like kind of my fats pushing everything but there's like very not spillage gap uh, a gap not spillage um, but with the 42 D's I had some gap here like a significant gap even when I was standing up and straight and I don't like that. Even if you're supposed to have it like that, I don't like that. So I bumped down to the 42 C's and they fit really well. So I wanted to get a couple of those. Need to get Autumn a bathing suit because she starts swim class. So I think that's part of the clip that I had to cut out from that vlog that you guys saw. And I'll talk about it more. But we signed her up for a swim class because my mom's pool is six and a half feet at the deepest and I need her to be able to swim because she's not going to be able to tiptoe her way throughout this pool like she could last year. Last year she could tiptoe. Even she would wear a puddle jumper which I didn't even realize how bad they were for kiddos learning how to swim but I learned that last summer, summer before, I think last summer is when I came to that realization that puddle jumpers were really bad for you. Probably when I started watching TikTok and so I was like, oh no, I mean, if my mom's going to get a pool and it goes from three and a half to six and a half fairly quickly, she's going to need to learn how to swim. At least like basic stuff. I know she's not going to be like underwater diving and, and whatnot, but we have about three months until maybe like two to three months. And I think even getting those basic skills over the next two months will be beneficial for her. And then, you know, we can just continue to learn how to swim from there. So we did that and she does not have a bathing suit. I could probably look maybe Maddie has a bathing suit she could wear But I really want her to have a one piece and then I wanted to buy dye And we needed something else and I don't oh the bras, but I wanted to buy a dye because I really wanted to dye my hair But that's why I've let it go all day. I didn't wash it this morning when I showered but it, when I do that and I don't put anything on it to cover it then it gets all greasy and gross and so anyway i'm gonna finish this up and i guess go see what everyone's doing so i've been really into crocs i showed you guys or maybe i sh didn't i think I, I don't know talked about them or something i have a black pair i wear them to work i have these like medical croc gibbets is that what they're called croc charms that's what i call them croc gibbets that's great and super cute i actually i don't know who's this one is who is uh the toon squad where'd y'all find this one oh that one's logan's oh um so yeah thank you baby these are my work a co-worker gave me the bow and the grape yeah these are mummies and so i have like this stethoscope and just cutesy little charms right so i wanted to order more you can find them on amazon for way cheaper than you can find them in the croc store even at a dollar a piece which we pulled over at one of the ladies selling crocs on the side of the road and they were super expensive three bucks a charm three that's insane i paid 16 dollars for a hundred of them so I think that's what people do is they buy them and then they resell them. But you guys eat. Oh, this one came with a Hello Kitty. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that through the bag. And this is wait. Let me see where. Is so it? yeah, there there are. Careful, Mama. Careful, baby. Sit Mama, down. Look, There's I'm a lot. They are a little more flimsy, but I mean, look, I'm for the Pokemon. price. Oh, oh yeah. Spongebob, that also oh, looks a little like creepy. Pokemon. Minion. That also looks a little creepy, look. <laughs> let me see, let me see. Oh, I'm look. the only confounder. A Santa. Oh, oh my god, my jiggly pug. Anna. Super cute. I found Hi. Elmo. <laughs> But mommy's the same Little one. Mermaid. Mom, they just have a bunch Mom, of, I know. It's the same one that you have. Oh, yeah. Spider-Man. 
<laughs> so there's just a bunch of little different ones. So I figured like we could all kind of share them. Spider-Man, a rainbow. Say rainbow. Oh, Stitch. Who? Stitch. How cute. Oh, a minion. Oh, yeah, Stitch. Spider-Man. Yes, you're right. Tom and Jerry, that one's cute. Iron Man. Oh, oh another Hello Kitty. <gasps> Two Hello Kitties! Yeah, I found that second Hello Kitty. I don't know. They're cute. Oh, yay! So, anyway, is this Mario? Bless you. Well, this is the one I saw at the store. Like at the Croc store that we went to. Goodness. There's a lot of charms that I love. Happy yeah. day. So just a bunch of different ones. Mommy, like a Daddy bunch of different have, options. Like, oh, a little video mm -hmm. game. That one's cute. Mommy, look, Emoji. This is the that you have. Flower. What Mommy, color is that flower? I found all the Pokemon Mommy, ones, ones Mommy. Blue. Mommy, I found all the Pokemon Butterfly. ones. Butterfly. That one's cute. There's a Vulpix, a Pikachu, um, uh, Dad, and a Wordle, and then a Jigglypuff. A Jigglypuff. Let me see. Let me see all the Pokemon. Ferrari. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> The Ferrari symbol. The Hulk. So there are a lot of different options. And again, these are definitely not as, you know, like thick. Some of them are thicker than others. Some of them are a little cheaper. But there are tons of options. And if you're not, if your kid's not looking for, oh, look, Peppa's friend. What's her name? Uh, Susie Rebecca. Rabbit? Re Rebecca Rabbit? Um and if your kids aren't super picky, they just like the croc charms, these are this is definitely a good option to just buy different ones on Amazon. They're very inexpensive. So I figured, you know, it would be a good option for us. This is one of the ones that I have on my charm right now. Or on my crocs. Yeah. Cute. So yeah. I'll link the one that I got below. The strawberry's cute. But yeah, I figured all the girls would really like these. These are the glitter Crocs, super cute. So of course I put the Hello Kitties. On this one I have a mini, rainbow, a panda, a little mermaid, a little pill bottle. And... On that one you have Jigglypush, Jigglypuff, like a stethoscope, strawberry, heart, butterfly, and unicorn. Cute. And those are my black Crocs. I added the Hello Kitty, the smiley face, the little kitty. Snow White, the Rainbow Shooting Star. I love these. They're super cute. And these are the ones that I have right now. Yeah, those are, these are super old Crocs. Like, look how dirty these are. These were from our trip to, let me see, baby. They've handed them down, handed them down. Those are Anderson's. The Anderson's. Oh, those are the ones Autumn picked for hers. Let me see. It's just they got some from Logan. But from look how Anderson. dirty these are. These have been handed down. These were actually Maddie's. Everly has Autumn's old ones, and these were Emmy's old ones. And then we're gonna see if maybe the Easter Bunny. Oh, these are a three, Maddie. So they should still fit you. Um, those were Emmy's old old ones from the trip too. So we have just handed them down over and over. They've worked really well. And then they Anderson. Feel a little tight for some reason. Do they? Well, then you need a four. It's probably either because they're old, because the other one does have more in the back. Yeah, I don't what, know. What maybe. about the new ones? They were the same size. Oh, yeah. You needed a three in the new ones. How did that happen? Probably because they have more I don't know, but she has Among Us, and look, look Anderson gave her those little charms. Okay. So, anyway. And then Everly, yeah, my camera's really zoomed in. Everly's little Crocs, has they have a couple charms, but they were Autumn's old ones. So, we're going to see if maybe for Easter we can do some Crocs. And it's all the way at the top. Yeah, okay. So, it's probably because they have more spacing. Maybe. The size. Looks like I went to water or something. Yeah. Supposedly the gibbets stay on too. Good job, baby. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. It's a little chilly outside. We had a little tiny cold front. The girls are out here riding their bikes. And Andres got this new little fun toy, a tiny power washer, and he bought a whole bunch of stuff to wash the car. The 
feel like I was getting wet with him rinsing the car like that. But you know what? Honestly, it was worth it. I think for everything, he paid about $80 for all the supplies to like wash the car, you know, with the soap and the little thing and all of that. Uh, and I mean, I pay easily 50 bucks when I go get a car wash at the wash set, so it's worth it, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> So bless him. I wanted to show you guys something cool that I got. I'll link it on Amazon. It is literally worth every penny. If you have a drink fridge, it is so beautiful. Oh, it looks so good. I'm in love with it. It's this little, it's a drink dispenser so that when you pull out, you know, your drink, it brings the next one forward. It's so cool. Super easy to restock. The set comes with 10. I have room for one more that I may end up ordering. And then of course I could add more up here, but it's so beautiful. I love it. And I feel like it fits the same amount as if I were to line them up and it holds them because I can't tell you how many times I've gone in here to get something and the waters have fallen or whatever. It even holds coconut water, Premier, of course it holds sodas, monsters, you know, Red Bulls, whatever. I feel like this can is the size of a Red Bull in with and so it fits pretty much anything in here and it even fits the tall skinny sparkling waters it's so awesome I love it so I got it off Amazon it was about $60 I'll link it below for you guys in case you have a drink fridge I came inside to them wrestling she's finally not in heat thank the heavens above he still tries to you know go after her but I'm hoping she can't get pregnant hey y'all are supposed to be over here doing nothing instead it smells a little stinky in here huh yeah come on y'all want to go potty let's go check it out let's go potty come on sit good boy good girl stay not Out. We got a new neighbor and I think he has a dog. I'm just not sure what kind of dog, but they've been over there trying to explore quite a bit. And our neighbor behind us is fairly new too and they have a kid and they keep throwing the ball. Y'all were supposed to go potty. They keep throwing balls over and I if we don't catch it in time poor guy He doesn't get them back because the dogs get a hold of them and They get torn up or whatever and he hasn't quite learned his lesson yet. So backyard is looking extra shaggy right now Let's See if he goes to the bathroom is that Bailey? That's Bailey. Okay. Thanks Bailey Nin had tried to set up this hummingbird feed her feed feed her <laughs> feed her uh, Everly's taking a nap, by the way. It's just the big girls outside, but she had tried to set up this hummingbird feeder outside of her little patio. Oh, it's not even how you do it. Um, duh, that would only make sense upside down. Anyway, she filled it up and she couldn't keep it there because the bees were trying to get to it. She didn't have any hummingbirds, so she's like, I'm, I don't want this, I'm done with this. So I told her I would take it and see if we could get some hummingbirds to come to the front yard. We have one in the back. So I know this is not the best hummingbird nectar. I usually make my own, but I don't want it to go to waste. So I'm using just the pre-mixed stuff that is red. I'm gonna see if I can get them to come to the front yard. Andres was trimming the tree last weekend. He was like, I put up your hummingbird feeder. So I'm gonna fill it and see if I can get this to get them to come. Let's go see. I haven't hung up the hummingbird stuff yet, but Amazon came to deliver. I ordered this on a whim last night, late, <laughs> and it got delivered today. It's the Revlon Style Curl and Volumize Hot Air Kit. So I had been wanting to get the Dyson, but I'm crazy, but I, I don't think I'm $600 crazy for, 
a hair tool that I may use, you know, occasionally. I really want a new Louie, so yeah, go ahead, go get some water. Yes, go, go baby. Um, but yeah, not that crazy. So this was $16. I think it regularly was about 30 bucks. I have the Revlon, the pink one, the big one, but this is actually a round brush uh, in one inch and one and a half inch, and it comes with a concentrator. So I saw this girl on TikTok use this to get the same kind of curls that the Dyson was giving her and of course probably not as good but for 16 bucks we are gonna give it a try so I'm super excited to try that I'll let you guys know what I think I'll link it below like I said it was on sale for $16 which I think it was like $17.50 with tax not bad at all but, yes you may yes we're ignoring the dog hair and the fact that I haven't uh, shaven in a while well, probably like four days, so. Look at the sparkle, though. So cute, I love them. Let's see if we get some hummingbirds.